What's up? That is way too big. What's up, guys? It's me, it's me, your middleman CEO, Sean John. We'll just stick with what we have. And uh, hey, guys, welcome, welcome to the channel. I hope this video I'm about to do today blesses you. Not just blesses you, but blesses your socks off. <laughs> so I'm at the car wash and I'm waiting to, uh, to exit. But there's a lot of cars coming out, so I'll just wait a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds if I have to. And But today, I just want to talk to you about uh, creating income without needing a job. It worked for me. It can work for you. I'm, I'm a guy who uh, was working hard to make money my whole life. I'm a guy who was... Uh, at one point I had three jobs that's a sad true story but I had three jobs burning out wearing myself down uh, I'm a guy who didn't know how to make money if I wasn't at work the only way I thought about making money is hey I gotta I gotta find some more time to sell find some more time to sell uh, what a gorgeous day here in Dallas man I can't wait to get out and enjoy this day but I'm a guy who's just always thinking about how to make more money I'm sorry how to make more time time equals money to me right time was the equivalent of money and not understanding that time is not money that time is infinitely more valuable than money and so learning that lesson I was like wait a minute as long as I continue to trade time for money I'm never gonna have the life I want to live I'm never gonna be in the position I want to be in financially and I'm never gonna be free I'm always gonna be in the habit of, of selling time and trading time and And again, I hope this video blesses you because I'm gonna share some things with you that I learned. But listen, you don't have to always go to work to make money. You don't have to always work hard to make money. <gasps> I know, that's kind of taboo. I can't really say it out loud because people get freaked out when I say, hey, you don't have to work hard to make money or when I say hey you don't have to go to work to make money or I say hey you don't have to leave your house to get paid I know that freaks people out because we've all been conditioned and trained uh, to work hard for money and to be okay saying that like yeah I work hard like that's something to brag about all that does is beat you down all that does is wear you out so talk to anybody who's ever worked hard I have and they'll tell you it's not worth it they don't pay you enough my body physically beat up listen you you want to know what working hard does to you I'll tell you in 2000 early 2000s I had a job and this job was back in Louisiana uh, and I was working in Baton Rouge East Baton Rouge Parish and I was a meter reader for uh, for the water company and so, because when I get on here and talk, guys, I'm I'm talking from a perspective of a guy who's done the thing. I ain't just speculating. I've been there, done that. When I tell you it ain't fun to be homeless, I've been homeless. When I tell you it's not fun to uh, pay for a house with a paycheck for 30 years, I've, I've owned a house with a paycheck. It ain't fun. When I tell you that living the life you want to live is better than living the life you have to live, I know what I'm talking about. So... I was working for this water company and I had been there for maybe a couple years and over time because what I would have to do the water meters were down in the ground and so this was during the time of Katrina right so this was like 05 right so if you're from South Louisiana uh, whenever you say 05 people know it's Katrina or you know or whenever you say Katrina they know you're talking about 2005 and that's like whenever people say 911 they don't think about you know 911 or anything the emergency number they think about the terrorist attacks right or when they say Pearl Harbor they think about the Japanese uh, planes kamikaze planes flying in on American soldiers and and killing themselves right and and so that's what uh, that's what that means when it comes to uh, when it comes to that so but when we say 05 in South Louisiana, we're talking about, you know, Katrina. And so what happened is I would always have to lean down, pick out these meters. I would have like a tool or a screwdriver, lift the leads up and then read the meters, put it back. And over time that started wearing on my back and I didn't realize it. And then all of a sudden one day I started feeling these pains. 
And that was 2005 when I first started feeling the pain. And then all of a sudden, I had a back problem. I had slippage in my disc, L3 and L5. Otherwise, I would not even have known I had an LD, L3 or L5. But I went to the doctor, found slippage in my disc. And it was up to me if I wanted to continue to work or not. And and I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to continue to work because I, I have a daughter. Right? I got my daughter, Shania. I'm going to work. Because I had my kid very young. I was like, I got to go to work. I don't know any other way to make money. But you're hurting. I still got to go to work. <clears throat> well, well uh, because I, it was up to me to work or not. I could have like tried to go through disability, but in Louisiana, that was a hassle. And plus, I felt like I wasn't disabled. I was just in a bunch of pain. But I didn't want surgery or anything like that. And I, I wanted to keep working because I wanted to take care of my family and, uh, well, my daughter. And <clears throat> and I was barely making it by. I was barely making ends meet. In fact, the ends weren't meeting at all. This During this period, I had so many eviction notices. I was used to them. First time I saw an eviction notice on my door, it's like, hey, you have five days to vacate the property. I was like, oh, my God, this sucks. Then after that, I started seeing them all the time. It didn't even matter anymore. I was like, oh, five days, I'll get this fixed. And I had eviction notices all the time. I had I had extensions on extensions. In fact, if they didn't send me a, a cutoff notice, I didn't pay my bill. I didn't have the money. My biggest paycheck was waiting around for income tax period to come every year. And then I'll just blow that and go back to broke, go back to zero. I have no idea what I was doing no, and could not for the life of me understand why my income was so jacked up. So here I am with jacked up income, a jacked up back. Here we are almost 20 years later, I still have the same back. I beat myself up, wore myself out. I wish I would have never taken that job. I wish I could give all the money back to get my health back because my back hurts every day, every night. I'm still not getting surgery. And yes, my back is still in a lot of pain. I still have to sleep on my on my back. I still can't stand long in one place without my back hurting. <clears throat> I can't sit long without my back hurting. I still have that injury. And I don't have the money that that injury, you know, that I, I sacrificed my back to get. So when I tell you hard work doesn't pay off, you know, that that job was that back injury was almost 20 years ago and I still have it today and I give anything to take it back. And so I'm just telling you guys that hard work does not always pay off. It does not. And we got to get out of the mindset of thinking that the only way we win is by doing hard work. No, that's not true. Hard work is hard. I don't know. Uh, did I say that too fast? Hard work is hard. You don't, there's no principle in the entire universe, there's no scripture in the entire Bible that says you have to work hard. None. You won't find it. Go look it up. There's not one that says you have to work hard to be successful. You have to work hard to make a living. You have to work hard to make money. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you this, and this will change everything. I'll tell you this. <clears throat> if you find the people that work hard in this world, and you put them all in the same room, hypothetically. Let's say they all can fit. And you put all the people who say, yes, I work hard. You put them all in the same room, right? And then you find the people who say, I don't work hard, I work smarter. I don't work harder, I work smarter. You put the people who say, I work smart in the room, in the other room. One room is going to be a whole lot wealthier and richer than the other room. Now you take a guess, which room is going to be the poorest? Which room is going to have the most broke people? Which room is going to have the most people living check to check? I know there's some outliers, but think about it. Overall, which room is going to have the least amount of wealth? You already know. If you've ever been to a hotel, if you've ever been to a hotel, have you seen the CEO, and I'm not talking about a mom and pop, you've seen the CEO of a hotel, ever, the CEO of the hotel knocking on your door, changing your sheets, changing your, uh, flipping your pillows, fluffing your pillows, cleaning your bathroom, cleaning your toilet, bringing you whatever items you need. Have you ever seen the CEO of any of those hotels 
in your room, knocking on your door, cleaning things. No, no. Who do you see doing all the work? The hotel staff, the sweet little ladies, the, the young men that are, that are working, hustling, trying to get it done door to door. They're nonstop. I swear to God, they don't take breaks. There's no way they take breaks. They are up and you go to the pool, they're coming, they're coming down your hall. You come back from the pool, they're going the other way down your hall. They never take breaks. I'm convinced they're enslaved. They, they have to be chained to that hotel. They're always there. Thanks for the thumbs up, by the way. And, and, and they're always there and they're always hustling. They're always grinding. But that's not a part of the success. We think that hustle and grind, this is one of my best videos. I hope you guys are loving this and getting this energy and getting this, this content. Smash thumbs up if it's making sense to you. Also, let me know where you guys are watching from. Drop, drop your city if you don't mind or your state. I just love to know where the audience is. But, and I love to know whose minds I'm changing. And these, these guys and girls are doing all the work. They're hustling, they're, they're grinding, but yet you look out, you see the birds living well. There's no hustle, there's no grind. You see the animals living well. There's no hustle, there's no grind. You see the flowers living well. There's no hustle, there's no grind. The sun shows up, handles business, makes sure the flowers have what they need so they can photosynthesize, I guess. I just remember that big word from science. I don't know if I used it correctly. Let me know, right? I think it's got something to do with converting something into food, right? And, but guys, let me know if this is making sense to you. And, and these, these things in this world don't hustle or grind to get anything. And yet they live lavish lives. But here we are hustling, grinding to get anything out of life. And it's become a struggle for us. In fact, I, I submit to you the idea that the harder you hustle, the harder you grind, the harder you work, the poorer you will be. I, I submit to you that the harder you work, the poorer you will be. Because you're gonna burn out your limited resources. You're gonna burn through your energy, right? Hey, I'm hustling, I'm grinding right now. I know, but one day that's gonna catch up with you and you won't be able to hustle or grind. And then what are you gonna do? And that's where people get stuck. They get the 35, 40, 45, 50 and go, oh my gosh, my whole life I've hustled and grind. Now I don't have the time or the energy to do that or the strength to do that. And I don't know what to do. Now I'm stuck. And that's how people get stuck. That's how people get placed in a position where somebody else has to come in and take care of you. Now, you don't want to be in a position where somebody else has to take care of you. You would prefer to be in a position where you can help take care of somebody else. Because people always talk about rich people are greedy. Listen, you want to help other people, you got to make more money. You want to give to and donate to foundations that 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 want to see uh, kids in single homes uh, get afforded the same opportunity other kids get. You got to make more money. You see all these homeless people, you want to bless them, be able to pass by and say, hey, look, man, I don't know your situation, but look, God bless you. I hope things work out. Here's twenty dollars. I, I know it's probably not going to do a lot for you, but but here's some. Well, I don't give money. I, I just buy the food. Uh, I'll say, hey, if you're hungry, look, I'll go in the store and get whatever you need. Just let me know. I'm, I'm not big on placing money into people's pockets. Oh, look at my boy. He's out walking. I would yell at him, uh, but he's with somebody. He's with this little friend. All right. And uh, but again, you guys, when, when you get on my live videos, you might hear or see anything. So but I'm blessed to be able to do this. It's a beautiful day here in Dallas. I'm going to get out, enjoy the day with the family. I'm thankful for where I am. Not long ago, just a few years ago, I was homeless, sleeping outside, sleeping in vacant apartments, renovated apartments. <clears throat> that was my life. And let me tell you, that ain't fun. So I always tell you guys, you don't want to sit out here and leave your life to chance. You don't want to sit out here and be in a situation. Everybody's got a dog. Good Lord. I see more dogs in my neighborhood than kids. I swear they don't like kids. Are they, are they turning kids into dogs? That might be a good movie. They're turning kids into dogs out here, right? For every kid I see, there's five dogs. So I'm going to stop right here and look, because I don't know if uh, you guys can hear me great, but I'm going to stop right here, spend a few minutes with you. And by the way, I, j I just want to bless you. Everything I'm saying is just to bless you. I'm not trying to hold you back. I'm not trying to share with you anything that I don't think is going to be beneficial to you. 
I'm just trying to help you and change your life. So we'll step out for a second. Step out by the lakes today. Those of you who know me that watch my videos, you already know where I am in my neighborhood. All you got to do is see that big stupid castle house behind me. Right? My wife loves that house. I think it's too big. It's got to be about 12,000 square, square footage. My house, 3,000 square footage. And that feels like a big house. So, I told her, I was like, hey, the next house we build, the dream house, uh, you know, 3,500, that's about max. Because we don't even know who lives upstairs. So somebody could be living upstairs. We don't even know. So, oh, looks like a cool spot I'll drop down here. And uh, you guys want to see... So beautiful day, beautiful day. I'm out enjoying it. And uh, I'm going to have a quick seat. And just want to share, like, I love to come out here in the day, sometimes in the night. And uh, just love to come out and spend some time. Beautiful day. If you like the scenery, if you like what you're seeing, smash the thumbs up. Isn't this beautiful to be able to come out? But think about this. You know, just a few years ago, you know, I would have never thought about anything like this. I was completely homeless. I mean, homeless as in, as in living outside, you know, sleeping in public parks. I've done that. It ain't a brag. If you think I'm bragging about that, you are tripping. I ain't bragging about that. That ain't fun. I'm just telling you, I'm just giving you an example. Uh, I have a seat on the bench of how quickly things can change. So I just want you to know that things can change very, very quickly for you and your life can change but it's not going to change until you start doing some things differently and the things that you have to do differently is you got to flip the way you think about money you've you've got to think about using money to make money you've got to think about not saving everything and getting into the habit of investing or creating a business <coughs> excuse me uh you've got to get into the the habit of making money without having to go to work because a lot of people because i want y'all to know something i'm gonna be very very real with you very clear with you as, as much as as much as this might pain you uh i'm i'm the kind of friend i'm gonna tell you the truth even though sometimes the truth's gonna be a little painful it's gonna sting a little but sometimes that's a good thing that you need to get stung in order to say oh wait a minute yeah don't do it that way yeah yeah that that bee stung me don't go that way there's a there's a beehive yeah i got i got hit right but some of you as long as the bees are dormant and they won't sting you you just keep going the same route but and and then you look back and you're 45 50 55 years old and you're going wait a minute wait a minute something's wrong i'm not i should be in a much better place something's wrong and then you wake up and that's a good thing and you go wait a minute some things have to change this can't work this way and then you get on the you get on your bicycle of change and you get on your new your new lane and you ride that lane until you get success but for a lot of you you're never going to have that option because that you won't get a uh, 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 you won't buckle down and be willing to sacrifice the comfort that you have to get in the lane you want to be in so for a lot of you you're going to stay where you are because the comfort is too powerful. So if you always say, if you find somebody who's working hard, you're going to find the poorest people on the job. If you find somebody who's comfortable in their comfort zone, you're going to find somebody whose life's going to stay the same. They're not going to accomplish what they're capable of. And you find comfort, you're going to find poverty somewhere down that line. You, my mom was comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. What's up, brother? <laughs> I told you this guy was out here, man. He walks fast. And if you find if you find comfort, uh, I promise you that uh, you're gonna find somebody. What's up, man? How you doing? Bro, I'm excellent. Hey, you gonna be around this weekend? Uh, yeah. You mean in the neighborhood or around the city? Around the city. Yeah. What's going on? Tomorrow. Hello, love. I'm Sean. Hi. Hi. Hey, this is Sean. Tomorrow after church, we're thinking about getting lunch somewhere around here. Okay. There's a. Uh, have you been to Maria Cuckoo's? Is it Cuckoo's? Of yeah. Oh my God. I, hey, that place is nice. Yeah. I did not know when they built that that we, we were going to get that type of uh, restaurant in the neighborhood. Yeah, there, there's one in Keller, so there's no 
Oh, there's another one of those? Maria, so that one is Maria. It's like Sister Sister Cook or something. It's okay. They're, yeah. They're affiliated, but they're not. Yeah. Identical, but yeah. Name. There's also uh, the uh, Lake Blue. Blue Lake. Oh, yeah, Lake Blue. Yeah. Yeah. It's brunchy, though. Like, okay. I, I went there, and I got their brunch, and it was really good, and then I went and got a burger, and it was all right. Okay. I've, I've only done breakfast there, so... Uh, yeah, I think we went there. Yeah, you and I went. I've been a few times, but I hadn't been lately. I, like, I haven't been anywhere over here lately. I think we went to the Maria Cougars. Yeah, that's a crazy name. Yeah. yeah cool. But look, man, let let me know, because uh, I, I I don't know. Like, I got, I got something going on at, like, 6 o'clock. Tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. I'll text you as soon as I find out what they're doing. Yeah. Text me and let me know, man, and I'll shoot over. All right, man. All right, man. Yeah. Good seeing you. And so, uh, but again, for everybody who's looking to change their mindset and flip how you do business or how you make money, all of that stuff's going to start with uh, finding a new way to get paid. If you, if your paycheck's your only way to get paid, then that's not something you'll be able to continually do. You're going to have to get out of the habit of using your paycheck to take care of you. Now, don't let that scare you because what that does is that opens you up to find new ways to take care of yourself, make more money, and then you can get your time back. The only reason you don't have time to do the things you want to do is because you sell that time for money. And so I just want to help you <laughs> to not have to sell that time. I think I'm going to go get my son. I think we're going to bring out the power wheel and start riding down start riding down here so uh, this is a good spot for us to come and uh, I think we're gonna go get his car and then we'll just ride all around here so and uh, that's what we do so but one last look before I jump off again I just want you guys to be successful I just want you guys to change the way you think about money I just want you guys to live your best life because like I said I'm giving you this warning one day you're gonna run out of time you're gonna have nothing left to sell no way to make money and then what are you going to do more importantly what's your family going to do so don't put yourself in that bad position don't be like me working hard wearing your body out and wishing you wouldn't have <clears throat> so what i'm going to do <clears throat> i'm going to give you uh, a free training on how you can make money using only your smartphone the same way i do and i've been doing it since 2020 from 77,000 in 2020 to 350,000 this year is the goal but you don't have to make that much if you make an extra $50,000, $40,000 a year. I promise you it'll help you and it'll change your life. The best part is you do it from your phone. So if you want to learn how to do it, type the word middleman in the comments below, middleman. And I'm going to teach you how to start your own middleman business using only your smartphone. It's a free live training. It's going to be Sunday night, 6 p.m. Texas time. And I'm going to teach you how to do it, how to change your life and never have to rely on a job or a paycheck ever again as your only source of income. So if you wanna learn how to do that, type the word middleman in the comments below. I'm limited on how many people I can let in because I do wanna do some Q&A and I don't want it to be overcrowded like it was last time. So uh, comment quickly. If you get an invite, you're in. If you don't get an invite, uh, I don't know what to tell you. So, but let's do it, let's get to it. And let me help you to, ch to change your life and to bless you. So I got this free gift for you. Join me in the training. Hit Middleman. It's a live Zoom training, Sunday night, 6 p.m. Texas time. And for those of you who are ready to change your life, hey, look, I'll see you in the training. Have a wonderful, blessed day, guys. Peace.